we're going to show you how easy it is to use the Play Designer series. A couple of quick features we're going to go through. Moving a player on the chord is extremely easy. You just drag and drop them. Drawing the line is easy as well. Just simply click the points of the line and you right-click to end. If you want to edit the line, you can just drag the points of the line too. Setting up a pass is really easy. What I'm going to do is give one player the ball. I'm going to select to start sequence with ball. And once they have the ball, we can simply mark another player to end with the ball, and the pass occurs. What's great in the basketball series is the ability to set up sequences. So I can move to the next sequence and, to c and continue to draw the play. And what you'll see is the ability to show the play as one image, also the ability to break the play up. One of the great features is this properties window. The ability to, ability to label your players, the ability to set line styles, zone settings, show the depth chart as well to show positioning, and the ball settings. In Play Designer Series 2011, we introduced Learning Mode, which is the ability to dim out the screen, and you could have one player's specific line highlighted. What's great about this is for teaching a play, you'll only draw one play, but you could sort of make it into many plays. Really great for coaching, really great for learning to play. In Play Designer Series 2011, you also can save these plays to video, share on YouTube, on email, you could print to a PDF. There are many more demos at our Help Center. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy Play Designer Series 2011.